You gotta pull it, you gotta swoop it, make sure to fold it and tug. It takes careful attention to get your bow tie nice and snug. So styling, unique, and oh so fly. But am I talking about you or am I talking about a bow tie? Cause just like a bow tie, you two are some handiwork. Made for a purpose with all of your quirks So loved and adored in his eyes And we're so glad you're joining us for here today. If it's your first time, welcome to Timmy Bowties. If it's your second time with us, I'm so glad I didn't scare you off with my antics and shenanigans. This is a momentous occasion, and I think we should start it off by doing nothing more than a pit check. Ha ha ha! Clean, clear, beautiful, and under control. Wait, now that's Neutrogena. I don't think they'll be sponsoring me anytime soon. But Old Spice, if you're watching, holler at your boy. It's good to show these bad boys off to you at the beginning of the episode because it might be a whole different story at the end. But I can't tell you enough how excited I am for Timmy Bowtie's episode two. A lot of times for a sequel, following a great movie, there's a lot of anticipation. And I feel like I have a lot to live up to, and I don't want to disappoint you. You know, there's a reason why there was so much pressure, and it took so long for the Cubs to win the World Series after not winning it since 1908. It's hard and, and really difficult to follow a certain performance. Or at least they made it seem like it was. Oh no, he did. But I know that this is going to be an exciting time because I got a secret weapon and her name is <laughs> Steffi Smiles. Ooh -wee! She will be joining us today as our celebrity guest for Take a Bow. We're also going to talk about how we can use our gifts to love other people. And before we move on, I want to make sure we start off by celebrating our friends that sent in their rendition of the dance some stir dog and I taught you all last Saturday. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's all fun. Up to you. Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, and turn with the one, three, four, and pose, pose. Pose, pose, and I lead with it. Ha! I lead with it. Ha! Bring with it. Go with it. dance. You're going to have to see for yourself. You're back! You caught me getting all spruced up for this next guest. You know her, you love her, give it up for Steffi Smiles. 
Snuffy! Hi, Jimmy Botox! Welcome! Thank you so much for having me! Oh, it wasn't easy. I tell you what, your agent drives a hard bargain. Oh! Like that right there. Always keeping me orderly. You're good for that and a lot more. And that's why I brought you on today for this segment that we call Take a Bow. Now, if you're new to Timmy Bowties, Take a Bow is so that we can bring on a celebrity guest to show off some of their talents. Steffi, what are you going to be showing off today? We are going to be making five ingredient cookies. Oh, oh, oh. And we love baking. Not oh, only yeah. baking, but cooking too. But baking is just so much more fun. <laughs> yes, and mm -hmm. eating. We don't always just do it for ourselves. We love doing it for our neighbors, our family, and our friends too. So shall we begin? We shall. Tell us about these five magical ingredients that are going to whip up a mean batch of cookies. All right. All you need is peanut butter, chocolate chips, an egg or applesauce, whichever you prefer, brown sugar, and baking soda. That's it. All right, Steffi, it's time for a good old fashioned bake off. Are you up to the challenge? Yes, I can't wait. Oh, but you're gonna have to wait because we're not dressed for the occasion. <gasps> we're not. <gasps> I know, just the thing. In three, two, one. Well, I'll be. Yeah. Howdy, Bob. Howdy. Nope, that's not it. Not it. Let's try that again. Oh, hardcore. Whoa. But we rock on no more. Let's try your genius plan again. Here goes nothing. Oh, whoa! Surf saw, dude. Oh. If only we were actually in Hawaii. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Surely, this next one will be the one. This has to be it, Mr. Bowtie. Okay. Oh, oh finally. finally! Let the baking begin. Yes! So who's ready to make some five ingredient cookies? First, all you need to do is start with the brown sugar. And then, put the applesauce, or the egg, whichever you prefer. And then, the chocolate chips. I use the half cup, but sometimes I like to add a little bit more. And then, the baking soda. And then the peanut butter. This is where it gets hard. I like to do a heaping scoop like this, but if you love peanut butter, feel free to add a little bit more. The moment we've all been waiting for is almost upon us. Yes! We can't wait! What's the next move, Steffi Smiles? Alright, now all you do is scoop the batter onto your cookie sheet, but don't forget first. to spray so it doesn't stick to the pan. Good move. It is time. Oh, that's a honker. Just how I like. Now all you do is bake these at 350 for nine or 10 minutes but no more than 10 minutes because they burn real easily. Oh, that won't be a problem. I don't think I can wait 10 or more minutes. I know, they're so delicious, especially if you love peanut butter. True. Okay, All right. 350 in the oven, eight to nine minutes. No Keep more an eye than on 10. Them. No more. Nine minutes later. Voila! These look incredible! Oh my gosh! Oh yeah! I cannot wait to try them, and I can't wait for you all to try them too! Mewa cookies! And also, if you have any allergies at all, feel free to substitute whatever you need to to make it so you can eat them. But, I also want to let you know that if you can eat eggs, I highly recommend doing an egg instead of applesauce, but applesauce will work. These are tried and tested, and it's time to try and try again. I might have sampled a time or two in the making. They're just so good, you can't help it. 
couldn't resist. Sue me. All right. Shall we? Yes. All right, let's break them off. All right. The wind's over. Oh, incredible! <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Okay. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> It was the grossness of the moment, not oh, the actual cookie itself. Okay. These are delicious. <laughs> 10 out of 10 recommend. Well, Steffi Smiles, it has been a joy having you. Thanks for showing us how to make five ingredient cookies. Yes. And if you guys all make them too, please tag us on Instagram, on Facebook, email us. We would love to see how your cookies turned out. We really would. And Steffi Smiles, I think it's time for you to take a bow. I'll take a curtsy. Curtsy, curtsy. Mm -hmm. Timmy bow tie, take a bow, spell the same. You, I you know what, go ahead and curtsy, yeah. I did, I'll do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you deserve it. Yes. All right, Steffi Smiles. It's time to tie it all together. Now this morning we've been talking about how we can use our gifts to love others. And we all have been given gifts. But I'm not talking about presents. I'm referring to the talents and skills that we possess. And it's what we do with those talents that matters the most. And I want to encourage you to continue using your talents to help and love other people. Now, she's far too humble to admit this, but Steffi Smiles takes the cookies she makes to our neighbors as a way of loving them and letting them know that we care about them. And that's just a practical way that you can love people around you. We're all gifted in our own way. So it's about using our gifts not to benefit ourselves, but to help others. Now I have two examples that I hope inspire you that are very practical, everyday ways that you can care for those around you. One is two siblings, one nine-year-old, one six-year-old, a brother and a sister. They have a neighbor who in this past year, she had to stay in isolation to keep herself safe and healthy in her house. But in the meantime, she missed the things that she loved the most, including going to musicals. So these two siblings went to her house and using the skills that they have, which includes being able to play instruments, they put on a private cello concert on her front porch. I'm sure it made her day and it was such a practical way for them to love their neighbor. Another story that I was so inspired by from this past year was a teenager that realized with so many schools shutting down and students not able to rely on the food that they get from going to school, she started collecting as much food as she could. And before you knew it, 400 people had responded to her request and she started a distribution center where folks could come by and grab the food that they needed. Now this is leadership, this is musical talent. What is it for you? I wanna challenge you this week, find a gift of yours that you can use to help someone around you. We all need to love one another and use what we've been given to see outside of ourselves. So that's my challenge. And I look forward to hearing how you do it and how you love those that are in your world. So thanks so much for listening. Wait, 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 wait. Guys, I need your help. Something's missing and I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Can you spot the difference in these two pictures? Did you find what was missing? Okay, that's step one. Now there are lots of clues to uncover. This is going to be quite the case. A case that could only be cracked by... Timmy Top Hat. Oh. We're so glad you joined us for Timmy Bowtie.